Don't you dare answer that. Dude, it's Jules. She could be bleeding and in a ditch. She's not bleeding. She could be in a ditch. She's not in a ditch. She could be lonely and in a shower. She has a shower phone. I certainly hope so. Dude, it's a win-win. Except for the ditch one. Hello? Damn, girl. It's okay, Jules. You can be straight with us. We can handle it. Really? Because that was awful. Awful? Can I teach you how to crump? Maybe. That's up to you. But I can't reach inside of you and make you want this. I mean, absolutely need this. The way that both Hall and Oates used to need it. Well, Oates a little bit more, probably. This has to come from inside here. And deep, deep, deep inside here. Jules, mm -hmm. you do realize that there is a suspect in custody and the case is just about closed. Is that what this laissez-faire, half-baked effort is about, huh? The case? I thought you were in it to win it! Jules, are you feeling okay? Sharp as cheddar. You know, I wouldn't put all my eggs in Emelina's basket, Sean. She's barely lucid enough to form word endings, much less plan a series of attacks on Nigel's life. She could be like Kaiser Sose, with one shoe. I think, until we get a confession, we gotta keep our eyes on the prize. Now let's take it back to the broken melting robot, huh? Gus, watch me. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Jules! Sean! Is there a problem? With what? With you, with me, with the chief. She hasn't called in a month. Is she still mad about me requisitioning the Segway? You did that? No. Well, I don't really have time right now, but the short answer is we just haven't really needed any outside help. Well, what's the long answer? I mean, throw a butt in there and, and add something about a dream where you and I got thrown out of a mattress show. I'm available for hugs. Jules, how about it? Psychic solar flares have temporarily blinded me. My sense of smell is compensating for my lack of sight. Lilacs in a meadow. <laughs> hey, dude. Did you read my horoscopes? Yes. They're terrible. Horoscopes are supposed to be vague so that people can interpret them to mean whatever they want. Yours are all way too specific. I wrote them with specific people in mind. Libra, your one true love will be wearing sneakers and an Apple Jacks t-shirt. That's kind of a weird detail. We got your message. Will you please tell us what this has to do with the case? Nice shirt. Thanks. Did you buy that today by any chance? <laughs> this old rag? No. I've had this thing for just about forever. Remember when I sent off those cereal box tops to get this? Well, as the beautiful, industrious Detective O'Hara has already gathered. You're not the real Kurt Goodall, are you? Anything else I need to learn? It's one last lesson. Get all the other lessons and know that you're a good cop. You know I'm gonna need those cuffs back, right? Good. Whoa. Please let me eat my frustration in peace, Sean. There's this dark cloud surrounding you. It's starving your chi. Yeah, and down at the station I can see a, a raccoon with dark circles under his eyes. No, her eyes. Oh God, it's the chief. Chief Fick is becoming Chief Coon and she's, she's lashing out at everyone. That's true. Especially Lassie, who in turn is taking his frustrations out on you. Look, Jules, you gotta take your chi back. Take it back. And that means doing something big, something risky. Something that'll help you blow this case wide open. Marry me, Juliet.
Besides, I wasn't gonna say anything, but I had a vision of us being married. <laughs> I know it's probably this <laughs> undercover thing we're gonna do, but it might have been a vision from our future. Mr. and Mrs. Juliet Spencer. O'Hara? Fine, I'll do it. She said yes, everybody! She loves me so much! I've got the how. I've gotta get Jules on the phone right away. Time is of the essence here. Jules, it's Sean. First of all, how are you? Oh, that sounds nice. Secondly, meet me at Chief Vic's house, pronto. I've had a big vision, top seven of all time. Let's go. What do you know about a Klaus Del Becchio? Gord. Gord Del Becchio. Sean, don't buy into Tancana's story. We have checked out Del Becchio. He has a record. He used to partner up with Tancana, but he didn't this time, okay? Just get in here and be careful. Admit it. You're a little turned on by the whole bounty hunter thing, aren't you? Come on. Sean Spencer bounty hunter? I mean, I know the psychic thing is sexy. I mean, that's a given. It's a sexy thing, but Sean Spencer bounty hunter. It's hot. It's hot. Jules? <clears throat> Jules. Is it because I'm not wearing a vest? Is it the vest? What the hell is this? That was your big plan? Really? Really, Sean? No, this was the plan. Why is he winking at me? Sean. Look, I really screwed up today and I just want to say thank you for being there for me. It really meant a lot. It was a mistake. That's what friends are for. Yeah. Well, it's been a long day. Well, I guess you have to get home and feed your parrot. Sean, I don't have a parrot. Well, in that case. Sean, what are you doing? Nothing. Really? Because if you're doing what it looks like you're doing, it's going to be one of those things we were just talking about. What's that? A mistake. I agree, but that's clearly not what we're doing. Okay. Really? What do you say that we're doing? I call it very close talking. Ah, oh, I see. Do you have anything else to say? Hmm. Well... I think I'm good for now. Well, good night. Good night, Detective. Mr. Mittens says it felt just like going to sleep and he doesn't hold it against you at all. Kitty Heaven, it's just like East Beach. That is the best news ever. Merry Christmas from both Sean. Whoa, 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 this is a very special gift that's clearly just for me. Don't appropriate, not at Christmas time. Thank you so much, Sean. It is the season, Jules. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I need to get into the holiday spirit before my family arrives. Oh, should I meet him or is it too soon? Too, too soon, soon for, for what? what? Nothing. Spencer, thank God you're here. Now go home. We don't need your hair. Jump the gun. This thing's pretty much open and shut. Aw, oh, Jules. You want to spend more time with me? You don't have to trump up some case. You just pick up the phone, give me a call, say, Sean, I'm here. I've got pony pops. I'll keep that in mind. Sean Spencer. I know. Sophie Morris Bridgewell. I know. Everyone certainly loves you down here. And I love you. Metaphorically. What? You had your shot. Let me do what I do. Mm -hmm.